Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a commentary over a pretty great game that happened to me a few days ago. But first, you may be thinking, what do you mean 1v24 clutch? You know, what are you on about, if I can nut case? Well, keep watching and see what happens. So, before all of this, we had a pretty good start to the game. Where we landed prison and just looted up and we were on our merry way. However, near this point, uh, all my teammates got picked off and I was left alone like a young orphan. Bear in mind, there are still 10 teams left and... <sighs> Fuck's sake, man. That, that was an ice cream van, by the way. Fucking up my recording. Right, fuck it, we're leaving it in, it's funny. Anyway... So, yeah, I was just getting into a building because downtown is so booky and you can easily get picked off from uh, rooftops anywhere. So, right now it is a crucial moment for me because it's make or break, basically. Do I let the pressure get to me or do I clear my mind and focus on the game and winning it? So, I'm going to give a few tips for, basically, for clutching games. Uh, firstly, stay focused on the game and don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed about how many people there are or how many teams there are. You know, don't worry about that. Just focus on what you can do in the moment. Um, secondly, your teammates play a bigger role than they might think. Even though they're dead, they're not, um, you know, they're not fucking useless. So they're going to be giving call outs and they're going to be encouraging you. So don't block them out completely, but... Don't get overwhelmed if they shout or get nervous or say, oh, you can't win this or you might not be able to win this or something like that. Just focus on yourself, but don't block them out because they're going to give call outs. And lastly, just believe in yourself because I would say I'm a fairly average player. You know, I'm not great, but, um, you know, I managed to win this game and I managed to win my first solo win. Check that video out if you want. Um, but... You know, was there a bit of luck thrown in there? Yeah. Did my teammates help? No. Of course they did. But, you know, were there some enemies that were just fucking brain dead? Yes, of course. But everything fell into place and we won the game. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I think I was just being a twat and hoping that most people would die so that I could just rush out and dick the last person. Um, but yeah, the storm is just closing in right now, and uh, it's going to push me out soon, but my first kill is coming up, just in a minute, but yeah, and also, I only have two armor and no reserve, which is, my, which I, I didn't even think about, because that's when I, when I get nervous. But final circle now. Um, the gameplay is going to ramp up in a minute. So yeah. So I downed that guy. And I'm just waiting for him to pop up. Now he could have been smart and just stayed there. but And waited for me and not just rushed out. But just shat on him. And then I just completely dicked that guy. Um, still have been hit but and then his friend gas mask nearly fucks me up and look at that look how much health i'm on a pube i killed that guy another team wipe just randomly and look how easy i was to kill those rpgs on the rooftops now there's two teams left so and i, I wasn't focused on that at all i was just focused on me you know i didn't think about that murk that guy I start shooting a cash register, which I thought was someone's head, which was quite funny, but... That guy breaks his legs, and I finish that guy. Well, try to, and win the game. So, yeah, that's it, really. Um, so, at this point, I was just going crazy. My teammates were going crazy, and it was just... It was brilliant. It was really brilliant. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, how I won the game. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, 
Have you found it? Found it. I cannot believe a fucking ice cream van tried to ruin this whole fucking thing. Fucking bastard, man. Pedophiles in vans, that's what I call them. Fucking sex offenders. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.